Chapter One Point Three: Speed, Velocity, and Acceleration. Speed is a scalar that tells us how fast an object moves. The SI unit of speed is meter per second. For example, two meter per second means an object moves two meter in one second. Cars are running fast. The speed of a car is usually measured in kilometer per hour. For fifty kilometer per hour, the car runs fifty thousand meter per three thousand six hundred seconds, and in this way, you can see the speed is thirteen point eight nine meter per second. So, a car traveling at a hundred and ten kilometer per hour travels at approximately thirty one meter per second. So it travels thirty one meter in one second. Use your calculator to check if I am correct. A average speed. The average speed within a time interval is the distance traveled divided by time taken. B average speed. On a minibus, there is a large speedometer behind the driver. The speed shown is changing all the time. This speed is called instantaneous speed. Which is the speed at that particular incident? It is common that the instantaneous speed is changing all the time, and the instantaneous speed needs not equal to the average speed. However, if the time interval is very short, the average speed will be very close to the instantaneous speed at the middle of the time interval. Example four is simple. Read it yourself. If a motion runs at v one for some time and then v two for some time, is that the average speed? The sum of v one and v two divided by two. The answer is no. The following example illustrate this. In this case. A man walk from A to B at a speed of four kilometer per hour, and then to C at two kilometer per hour. The distance AB equals BC, and then you are asked to find the average speed. A bit difficult, isn't it? As the distance is not given, but more importantly, you should know that the two parts of the journey takes different time. The time to walk from A to B should be shorter because he walks faster. Simply speaking, the average speed should be a weighted average. Take a look of the solution before you move on to the quiz to follow the video. Lastly. Let's talk about light gate, which we have mentioned on page six. A light gate measures the time when the light beam is blocked. We usually erect a car on a moving trolley, and the width of the car is measured, just like the example on page six. As we want to measure the instantaneous speed of the moving trolley, a short time interval. Will give a more accurate measurement, so the car should not be too long.